Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about some new theories, mainly to do with the trailer that came out just yesterday. So we're going to be talking about it and, you know, theorizing about some stuff. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so the trailer that came out yesterday was very short. We should be expecting a longer trailer in the next week or so. But it got us very excited because there was a lot of, you know, little tidbits that we can theorize about and we can, you know, talk about, like, especially to do with Nora Allen being there and, you know, the billions of deaths, the billions of alternate futures that Barry saw. There is a lot to talk about. So we're going to talk about some of these theories about what's going to be happening in the first episode, episode 2, and, you know, you know, the first half of the season, basically. Okay, so, the first theory is to do with Nora Allen. So, she's in the trailer, she looks kind of different, she looks more like Flashpoint version of herself, where Barry, obviously, was back in time, he lived in that timeline, and you remember we had that scene with Barry's father, Henry Allen, played by John Wesley Shipp, and then we had Barry's mum, Nora, but she had sort of darker hair and she looked a bit different and kind of seems like she's more in the vein of this right now. So the theory is Nora Allen in the trailer is Jay Garrick's wife. And why might you ask, why would she be Jay Garrick's wife? So obviously an alternate version of both of those two is Henry Allen and Nora Allen who are Barry's parents, right? So that makes sense that there could be an alternate version that may be Nora Allen, but, you know, not Allen. It will be Nora Garrick, if, say, she were married to Jay Garrick from Earth 3. And so, just like in Flashpoint, it's sort of a parallel of that. But how did they get the helmet? That is one reason why I think it's a possibility that this may be a version of Nora Allen on a different Earth that is perhaps married to Jay Garrick or a version of Jay Garrick. It doesn't have to be Earth 3 Jay Garrick. It could be any version out there. And so, you know, why would they have Jay Garrick's helmet? Like, I'm pretty sure at Star Labs they don't have Jay Garrick's helmet. I'm pretty sure Jay has it and the one that Hunter Zolomon used, I'm not sure if they still have it. And where Barry is in the trailer and where he's using the helmet with that version of Nora that we see in the trailer, it doesn't look like Star Labs. It's too green, it's too dark, too dingy, kind of looks like a rundown place. So I don't think it's there, and I don't think it's from Flash Storage. Obviously, it could be in Star Labs, but I think more likely than not, it's going to be from somewhere else. And I think it would make sense if Nora was Jay Garrick's wife, whatever Earth he and she is on. And so Barry goes to Earth uh, 3 for help, maybe, after he finds out about you know, what's coming, maybe the Anti-Monitor warns him, and I don't know what episode that's going to be in, in terms of the Nora stuff, I think that's going to be episode 2, I could be wrong, could be episode 1, but it seems like the Monitor warns him at the end of episode 1, then in episode 2, we have him say, potentially, this is my theory, him going to Earth 3 or another Earth, where he is seeking the guidance of Jay Garrick, but he finds Nora Allen, say, Jay Garrick's new wife, or, you know, old wife, and I don't think Barry's mentioned or shown a picture of his mum to Jay Garrick, so he obviously wouldn't know about that, so I think that would make sense if that did happen, and so he finds Nora instead of Jay. So, what do you guys think about that theory? I think it's an interesting theory. I think it's, you know, kind of possible. It makes a lot of sense when you add up the things that we saw in the new trailer, so... Yeah, think about that. Okay, so let's talk about the next thing. Episode 2 of Season 6 is titled A Flash of the Lightning. What is A Flash of the Lightning? This is a comic book issue, but it's not just any comic book issue. It's one of the crisis issues, and it's the issue that Barry goes missing and dies in crisis. He doesn't go missing, but he could potentially go missing on the TV show. That's what I'm talking about. But he dies in the comics, essentially, in this issue. And so that's what episode two is about. So I think that is part of my reasoning as to why I think the Nora stuff is actually in episode two, because it's a reference in the title to Crisis. And that's obviously heavily Crisis linked with him seeing the future, you know, using Jay Garrick's helmet somehow to 
you know, vibe, essentially, all these different, you know, iterations of the future and all these deaths that he sees in his visions. And so we know that Barry has seen billions of futures. Will we see a flash of him dying in Crisis? I think that is a kind of high possibility. Like they did a similar thing in Elseworlds where they showed a potential future where Barry and Kara actually were spinning and running and flying around the earth and they were sort of starting to disintegrate. That was a potential future, but that future never happened. It depends on what the Monitor's deal is really with Oliver, I would say right now. If he dies or say Barry dies or Barry goes missing or Oliver goes missing. But more likely than not, you know, he might see a flash of himself dying. Similar to how he dies in the comics, being disintegrated of sorts. And he runs so fast that he does that and he sacrifices himself. But I think with the TV show, maybe they do a flash forward a potential future flash forward with him dying but they don't go through with it because the timeline changes and he survives or he just goes simply missing i don't think he's gonna die i think the whole idea of him going missing is that he runs back in time with a reverse flash and the nora allen stuff in the past happens and i'm pretty sure that's gonna happen but i could be wrong about that okay so just talking about the next bit so it's similar to how he sacrificed himself in the comic books so that's why the episode 2 title is that, because we see that moment where Barry disintegrates and he dies or, you know, maybe goes missing, but if they were following the comic books, he would die. So just before we end this video, let's talk a bit about episode 1 and what we are expecting, mainly in terms of the villain. So as you may recall, a while ago when they first started shooting the season before Comic Con, so sort of mid to late July, we got some photos and we got the confirmation that Godspeed is going to be in episode 1. Lots of us got very excited that he may be, you know, the main villain, maybe sticking around for half the season or something like that. But it seems more than likely that is not going to happen and it's going to be only an episode 1 villain. It's going to be a different iteration of Godspeed. I'm not sure how powerful he's going to be, but he's going to be stopped by Barry and unless he reappears later... I'm pretty sure he's just in episode one and he's just a one episode thing again. So in my opinion, that's a little bit disappointing because of the way that, you know, the other version of Godspeed went away and how easy he was defeated. I kind of feel like they might repeat that again unless there is a really interesting link in the story and maybe it links to Ramsey Rosso, you know, the villain of the first part of the season, blood work, but more likely than not to the villain of the back half of the season who I think and many people think is going to be Red Death because when Eric Wallace the new showrunner said the new villain and he only said one villain because there's two villains this season I'm guessing when he said oh he's never been name dropped before I'm guessing that is Ramsey Rosso aka Bloodwork and you know that opens the gates for us in the back half of the season maybe linking to Godspeed somehow to Red Death because Red Death was mentioned last season and we shouldn't, you know, ignore that because I did that in the past with the Thinker when he was brought up. I was like, and they just said that, you know, for the sake of it. But no, it came true and the Thinker was the villain for season four. So I think there is a high possibility that Red Death is coming. Like, I would put my bet on it that the back half villain would be Red Death. And it's very exciting because, you know, that would be the return of the speedster villain because we haven't had a speedster villain since Savitar and that's a long time. And... I'm really hoping the back half of the season is really good. Like, I'm excited for Blood Work. However, he's not that interesting from what I've seen. And I don't have the hype levels that I had, say, when the rival was, you know, talked about or Savitar was talked about back before season three started. So what I would say is I'm very optimistic about the back half, especially because of the idea that we could get a speedster villain again. And I really, really miss the mystery villains because the Thinker, we all knew who he was, you know, there was no mystery behind him. And then Cicada, we knew exactly who he was, there was no mystery behind him. And the only really interesting tidbits, you know, in season four, which I really didn't like, I didn't like season four at all, but the only interesting bit was Nora and her popping up. So I think people miss the mystery, I personally miss the mystery. And I'm really hoping for Red Death in the back half. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe. Turn on notifications if you are new as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers. We're just about 1,000 away. Cannot wait. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.